Good morning to you. I'm Madeline Carter. Shaq has the morning off, but talk about some great weather that we've had this week. It's been fabulous, and we've got a lot of festivals happening in our area, Bourbon and Beyond being one of them. So, Suzanne, hoping this good weather trend is going to continue. It's 9.06 now. Kentucky could soon become the first state to invest in research into a new drug to treat opioid addiction. It's called Ibogaine, and according to the American Addiction Center, the drug might be able to adjust brain chemistry to the point where a person may not go through withdrawal or even suffer from cravings. The Kentucky Opioid Abatement Advisory Commission is considering a proposal to use $42 million over six years to research it. On Friday, the commission heard personal stories from Ibogaine patients and researchers who say this drug could be life-saving. Thousands of United Auto Workers union members have traded the production line for the picket line, but those at the two Ford plants here in Louisville are still at work without a labor contract. The union had been in negotiations for weeks with Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis on a new contract, but the two sides could not reach a deal by Thursday's midnight deadline. And now the targeted strikes are happening at plants in Michigan, Ohio, and Missouri, and local union leaders tell us they are prepared to walk off the job if necessary. Welcome back. If you're in the market for a new car, you might be wondering how this United Auto Workers strike could affect you. While dealerships will still be open, industry experts say it'll be harder to get those bargains. And our consumer correspondent Jeff Rawson has some tricks to fight for better prices on a new car. Thanks, Jeff. Oil, though, is now more expensive than it's been all year, which is causing some problems for drivers. It's the first time a barrel of black gold has breached the $90 benchmark in 10 months. Now, typically, the gas prices start to trend downward as we head into fall, but instead, they're going up. WLKY News at 9. Welcome back. This week's been an interesting teaser. It still felt a little bit like summer, but it's going to be Halloween here before we know it. And some kids in Europe, they're already getting into the spirit with some spooky lessons on becoming a vampire. Actually, my kids and I read that book. Did you really? Yeah, and I we can read the books, but we don't want to watch the movie. You know <laughs> what I scary? mean? Too scary? I think so. I you think know, so. I don't want to I always think a vampire is a good go-to if you don't know what to be. Yeah. You don't know what to dress up as for Halloween. You, all you Classic. need is the teeth and like a black outfit, right? Yep. And you're ready to go. Thanks, Suzanne. Well, talks to end the strike in Hollywood could resume next week. Both the Writers Guild and the Alliance, representing the Hollywood studios, announced the planned sit-down. The two sides have been at a stalemate over a number of issues since May, including the number of writers employed on shows, residuals from streaming services, and how to handle AI technology. The pressure has been mounting going into the fall season. Now in its fifth month, the strike is one of the longest in the history of the Writers Guild. The last round of talks was three weeks ago. And we've got some big news for 90s boy band fans. NSYNC is coming back. No more bye bye bye. Oh, it's on. The now middle aged man band has. <laughs> I gotta laugh. Man, man band, band, not boy band. They've released a 40 second teaser of a brand new song, and it's the first that they've actually recorded together in 21 years. Oh, Suzanne, that's gonna be catchy, I can tell. Yep. The, the song, Better Place, it doesn't mean a new album, at least not yet, so don't get too excited. It's from the soundtrack to the upcoming Trolls Band Together movie. NSYNC member Justin Timberlake, he voices one of the characters in the film. Anxious fans, you can hear it at takeyoutoabetterplace.com. It's coming two days after NSYNC made a surprise appearance together at the MTV Video Music Awards. Fun stuff. Everything old is new again, right? No, I'm going to have to listen to the full yeah. thing. That's a good teaser there. But can you give us a little teaser of our sure. weather for today? All right, everybody. Enjoy it while it lasts yeah. and enjoy all the fun things happening this weekend. We'll be back here tomorrow morning. Right now, the Louisville Metro Housing Authority is looking for a new executive director after the head of the agency announced her resignation on Thursday. The move comes after several local residents raised concerns about the lack of maintenance and safety at some public housing complexes. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff talked with them about their hope for change. Okay, well, if you love music and you love bourbon, you got to check out Bourbon and Beyond this weekend down at the Expo Center. It is a fun time, and it's the first of back-to-back -back music festivals happening in Louisville. And as our Alexis Matthews explains, the economic impact from this is expected to be massive.